So my advanced archaeology class, which is uh, made up of students who've had the archaeology field school, are participating in a dig at the Sanders site at the Warburton Wildlife Foundation property in Halifax, Virginia. And so these advanced students are coming out and they're excavating the features. They're learning about how to properly document prehistoric uh, artifacts and the layout of the site that we've been able to discern. Basically, what we're trying to figure out is if any of these features can help determine sort of like the nature of the actual site itself. The artifacts are the things that capture people's attention and capture people's imaginations. But for an archaeologist, the artifacts are the vehicle through which we can tell a human story. And so what we're trying to figure out is what was going on in the tribal cultures in this part of Virginia in the 500 or so years before they were contacted by Europeans and enslaved Africans. I founded this foundation for one reason, and that's to make a difference for our natural resources. That also includes cultural resources, as I wanted to give places like this a perpetual voice. We need to know this history. We should know what was taking place here in the past for us to be better educated on how to go forward in the future. These kinds of field research experiences really do help students to hone uh, STEM skills. You start to see things click, connections start to, to, to be made for them between the things that we talked about maybe a semester or longer ago in the classroom and now they're getting their hands dirty. Now they're actually making the connection between the artifact and the human culture that we're trying to explore and learn about. You know it's one thing learning something in the classroom and then saying like oh like I can apply this in the future but I'm applying it now and that's definitely helpful with figuring out what I want to do. When I first started, I couldn't identify like, oh, this is a firecracked rock, or this was a piece of what would have been a projectile point. But now I'm able to say like, okay, I'm able to identify this random rock that we just pulled out of the ground that was however many centimeters deep and say, I can tell that a person manipulated this for a certain end goal. Our artifacts that we catalog and that we bring back to the school are culturally important. The very first thing we have to do with this data is we have to clean it, organize, sort it, so that we can start to analyze it and understand it. And so what we do through the, through the lab hours and the post-excavation work is we try to figure out what did the excavation at the Sanders site teach us about the people who live there? And at the end of this, at the end of this semester, we should have the answers to that. If we don't have the, the really fine-grained answers, we know what the next questions are that we need to ask to continue probing that culture and learning more about it. I have seen firsthand Professor Bates and Longwood's archaeological program and how important it is. I have seen these students work together as a team and the difference that this program is making of teaching work ethics, is teaching lifelong lessons about something that we're all uh, finding enriching about what Native Americans were doing on this particular property. You need to build relationships in order to succeed within this field and many other fields. And I think that this program helps with that. It builds character, it builds work ethic. We are really focused and centered on hands-on learning activities for, for students, meaningful research. There is no program in Virginia that has more hands-on learning opportunities for their undergraduates than the Longwood Archaeology Program.